Hey guys, so uh, I, what I have here is a CAT 316E and we are renting it for a project coming up. So I figured I'd do a little walk around for you guys. It is, this machine weighs 38,800 pounds and it has 113 horsepower. This one does have the long stick, it's a 10 foot 2 stick uh, and it gives it 30 feet 5 inches of reach and a maximum dig depth of 21 feet 7 inches. Uh, right now on it it has a 36 inch bucket and which is a 0.8 cubic yards capacity and uh, this machine has a digging force, the bucket digging force of 22,000 pounds. So this one does have the quick coupler pin grabber system, hydraulic lines run to it. That's the front lock and the bat lock is down in there. And uh, this machine actually has the Trimble system installed on it as well so you can see the receiver just like on uh, my 305.5. You want to learn about that some more you can click on a video playing right there explains everything so they got storage here put anything in that fuel hydraulic Here is under the hood. Now this is tier four. So it has a cat C4.4 motor in it. You can see everything's pretty easy to get to. Side panel here. Got your filters over here. Um, you can get it with a uh, optional rear view camera. This machine does not have it. Got a battery cutoff switch, batteries, radiator, air filter, everything going into the back of the cab, the electronics. This you just turn, it opens right up. Pretty nice, easy access. So uh, I'll show you in the cab. So there you can see the Trimble system inside. It is in a pretty good spot. You can still see everything outside the machine. And they put, a, uh, put it up on a nice custom pole here. 
So keys over here, we'll start it up. So well, I can show you everything over here. This is your throttle. This is your fuel economy mode. So right now it's in high power. You hit that button, it's in economy mode. Uh, travel speed. Right now it's in slow, fast. I think it goes 3.2 miles an hour and fast. Um, auto idle button. So if you don't touch the controls, for I believe three seconds, it automatically idles down. This is your backup beeper canceling button. This will change what work tool you have on the machine to tell it. So if you put a breaker or a hoe packer, you tell it on there. This is a uh, heavy lift mode. You can hit that and it tells machine that you're going to be lifting something real heavy and give some more power to the lift cylinders on the machine. This is windshield wiper fluid. This is your windshield wipers. It has uh, three different settings. Work lights. Okay, so this one right here is a fine swing on the controls of the machine. So if you're swinging side to side and need to go real precise, you can turn that on. Um, this is to work your quick coupler and I'll show you how that works. So over here, you can either grab this and lift it up or you can use this lever right here that activates your controls. So to use the quick coupler, you curl your bucket all the way up. And you lift this up and then down. And then you curl your bucket and it unlocks. that easy. So to lock it, I am trying to do this one handed. You do the same, you curl all the way in, you flip this back and you curl again. I'm holding the curl. And then you just double check, make sure it's locked. And it is. So same controls as any excavator. Joystick, these run all your, if you had any attachments. Same over here. Um, foot pedal, this would control uh, like rotation of a grapple or anything like that. Uh, foot pedals, forwards, backwards. And then I like this one over here. You push this forward and see it moves both tracks forward and backwards so you know you're going in a straight line, which is kind of nice. Um, I got radio over here. Climate control, you do have some auxiliary port ports here, you got one there, and one there. Uh, there is tons of room in here. Window slides up, uh, the roof opens up here, and that can open. Uh, heated seat, turns on right here. Heated air ride, it's very nice. Uh, your display over here, 
see this machine's only got 16 hours on it. Um, you hit this button and that changes. Tells you how many liters an hour you're burning. 2.1. How long until you're empty. 40.6 hours. We got a full tank of gas, uh, diesel on it right now. And that's for your DPF filter. Um, so here's our menu. Display settings. Language select. Performance. Check that out. Battery voltage, engine speed, temperatures. So all this stuff. Work tool select so you can tell it what's on it. Maintenance intervals. Power mode settings. Which you need a password to change that. Current totals. Just uh, all your hours. How many times you've traveled. How many how long you've swung. How long you've used. You can program in different tools. Uh, how many idling time, how much fuel you've used. So, kind of neat, keeps track of all that. Engine shutdown settings. So, this will, I can't change it, but you can actually set it so if it idles for a certain amount of time, the engine will actually shut off on its own, to save your fuel, so that's kind of cool. Change your password and uh, service. So that's um, pretty much it. There is a pattern changer. And uh, if you're ever in a bigger cat excavator, they're all under here. You literally just lift this up, rotate it, put it back down. Close it up. So that's real nice to be able to switch that. So there you go, there's the uh, cab. So it's a real nice machine to run, very smooth. It's super quiet in the cab. So, definitely a nice machine. So there you go, there is a brand new CAT 316E.